Dale, if I, one of the rare times I picked up Dale's phone call, he said, you know, I don't appreciate this, this Rob Zilla dude who I don't even know. He don't know me talking about my wife like that. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't fucking appreciate that shit. Oh, come on. I don't know his wife. First of all, he don't know me. And secondly, that's my wife. Uh-oh. They might put me in the can hot and the can hot as the friend. <laughs> <laughs> you might hot me. <laughs> I don't know who his wife is, you know what I mean? You don't know what his wife is. I don't know who or why. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What kind of porn she thinks? I'm not sure if I think you beat the fuck out of 99% of these fucking people. Number one in the song is height, young. You have no problems with nobody, even those big juice up assholes. You know the best way is to get that first punch in. That's it. Yeah, yeah. For anybody. Like Fat Jay, you know, comes the day we're going to fight, he's getting that fist. And it's going to knock him out. That's simple. The first fist. The first fist. Right under that chin of his. That real soft, flabby chin. Chinny, chin, chin. <laughs> but that's when he's all healed up, which could take 10 years. Did you hear that chinny, chin, chin? <laughs> <laughs> Chinny chin chin. I like all those original sayings. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, buddy, that's real original this tale. Yeah, right. I heard it from Ronnie Bowman, and then people tell me it was from some so-called Jersey Shore, or whatever that is. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. What's he going to do? She's had I offered to push you out in a wheelchair, Jay. <laughs> you can trust me. We'll put a nice white blanket over your legs. He sent us this out the ass. Okay. So to double up, triple up on your free Yeah, that's right. That's how guys get strong without any water bottles. Right, right. Great for girls, so it really makes women look healthy and sexy. Right, right. Great, great compound. The heavy metal reptilians are beautiful, right? Yeah. I don't hate anybody on the face of this earth, even the human self. And the bots out there, they need to be stopped, but I don't hate them. It's like the people that put the babies in the oven. Turn it on to 400. Lots. Cover up. Please. We could talk about the Hollow Oaks. <laughs> I like Dorian Yates. You see the one with Dave Palumbo? What, Dorian Yates? No, I didn't see that. Oh, no. You better look it up. Dorian says, they had swimming pools at Auschwitz, which they did. Well, I'm like, oh, my, I have uh, people in my family that went through that. Oh, and how come they're alive? You know, people are fucking great. They're playing Russian roulette and shooting each other in the feet. Yeah, I did see that. I saw, I saw that on the clouds thing. Does uh, it twice in a row? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know the doctor had to say, what the fuck? Of course, we're paying for the care. Yeah. 
and they'll do it again next month. Look at their technique. That's what they call it, Wasmore. Soon it's going to be called Wasmore. Now that's like a squat. Thanks, look at that. What a nice courteous guy for his fucking old man training partner. Hey, that's what that's what Arnold gets going to fucking South Africa and kissing, <laughs> uh, kissing Mandela's ass. That's the thanks he gets for it. Got his ass kicked, literally. Yeah. Arnold. Go and say I'm Mandela, what a great leader he is. Just keep it up. That's what you get. You wouldn't see me doing that. Mandela. <laughs> Mandela chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, old jail. You see that? What if you went up his bodyguard, Dale? Yeah, what would you do? Dale, yeah, what would you do without Larry the Cable Guy? That's what I want. <laughs> to entertain you on those rainy North Carolina days. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't have picked up. He calls me once, he calls me a couple times a week. I just want to hear his brain. He was talking about radios. He goes, hey, Andrew Carlo, I'd be scared to compete against, but I got the better legs. This year, this year, come on, see? Holding up to the door. He's going to sodomize himself over that big blue blur over there. Where? He's <laughs> going to the front. Guys have used it and developed great. Look at Dorian, Jay Cutler, Big Remy. I feel less pain in my back. Yeah. And you're perfectly upright. Right. That's a great point, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get over well over 300 pounds next year. This is my, this is it. I'm tired of this shit. That's the goal. I'm not worrying about decreasing my waist. I'm worrying about being over 300 pounds in shape. It's that simple. Dale, you can play the bodybuilder placings game, and you could just put yourself back into oblivion, like you were back in Little League. The fat kid on the bench. <laughs> Let me stretch my hand. Why don't you drive her? Huh? Why don't you drive her? I would love that if I got an alert. You know what I do on there? It gives you an alert like when you have a request to ride. If it's a guy's name, I deny it. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> What if it's a team of 10 and 10 and these guys? Oh, I, get, I get there. Oh, if they use the guys. That's what I would be worried about. Yeah, that's 
So what are we doing at Club Atomic? Here we go with you tonight. I'll go. Well, not necessarily, but yeah, I think called me on like a Thursday afternoon before. Like I'm going to the I'm going to the strip club and and for Lord. Yeah, but remember you called me up one day. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I didn't even make it. Yeah. I didn't even make it to meet up with him. He's already gone. I was just... It's not a good idea for me to do that. No, no. I was driving, you know? What's the club of time? Strip club? Yeah. It is a tan, 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 tan. Oh, oh I'm not going to a tan. <laughs> I'll go. You gotta, you gotta go. We gotta go. I'll go. We gotta go to I'll the, go. the fans want to see that. I, I, Don't be like, you know who, Mike. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
time to get some hydration. If Emma was in there, she, could, she would spit in my mouth. But we'll get it one of these times. <laughs> All the bodybuilding elites are right across town at the Dragon's Lair, and I never got an invite. All these years, James, you've been open. I've never got an invite. What's up with that, maniacs? Make it happen, maniacs. <laughs> yes, the Dragon's Lair. What, what is that? What is it? Never heard of it, huh? <laughs> no, I haven't. Well, 212 Mr. Olympia, the iconic James Flex Lewis, has his own facility over there called the Dragon's Lair. It's a fantastic gym, top of line equipment. And I've never received an invite. We gotta get over there. Yeah. <laughs> Speak, maniacs, on my behalf. Let them know. You know, James, he's going to go to the Open Division next year at the Olympia. And I think he's got a good chance of winning it. So, I want to be in his corner, but he's making it very hard. <laughs> I saw him when he was working yesterday. Yeah. He's staring at me like a lion staring down a gazelle. <laughs> in the parking lot of Publix. Why? He wouldn't say hi to me. He just looked at me like this. He's looking at me. He's about 50 yards away. Staring. Who's that? Lord Vader. Just off the parking lot of public. He didn't say nothing to you? He's looking at me like a lion looking at a gazelle. What did you do to him? Nothing. I just went in and bought some steak and milk and stuff. No, no. I mean, like, why, why is he looking at you like that? Maybe he wishes he had my physique. <laughs> you ever thought about that thing? Of course he does, yeah. <laughs> last step, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, last step, yeah. Yeah, he's yet to meet Jason. Yeah, I haven't met Jason yet. You haven't met Mr. O'Toole, and you haven't met Chef Ryan either. No. <laughs> Boy, you're, you haven't really lived much of a life. I feel bad for you. No. I, I live a simple life like Dale Chance. Yeah. He's a simple <laughs> man. <laughs> He's a Leonard Skinner. I'm a simple, simple man. Yeah. Dale goes, you know, I love me some Skinner. <laughs> Brad's next son is going to be O'Toole Murray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Brad revealed to me he just did something he never did before. Care to guess? Wait, what happened? He ate some what ass. He ate ass? <laughs> what got him to do it? She said she'll give him an extra Adderall if he does. <laughs> <laughs> Who said it was a she? <laughs> control, control, tension. Still got that stuff flowing through the system. He's sick of that type of things. He's hitting the 
But most can't, especially tall guys. Yeah, I can't stress While you're practicing for the tan, tan, tan. <laughs> Big, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know guys did machines. <laughs> Well, this is the key if you want your legs looking big. You've got to hit this muscle in there. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it. the first time I get him, I get ragged on it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> get him on film. Make him famous. <laughs> now you're famous. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I would feel all this food. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like you're in a Bally's right now. <laughs> oh, Rob would watch Dale Champ squatting and say, I didn't know guys were that fucking weak. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know guys could impregnate elephants either. <laughs> I don't appreciate that at all. At all. <laughs> and let me tell you, there's going to be some repercussions. Huh? I can't hear. There's a language barrier. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have some crates today. I went to Fort Lauderdale, right? Yeah. The first gas station that I walked in, I was like taken over by drug dealers. Like completely, you know? You walk in and they're like, what do you need, what do you need, what do you need? And then I was like, no, I'm good. And then you go inside, there's a whole nother gang. I bet you it took 10 minutes to tell them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't tell me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I went in this comedian store in Delray last Wednesday. And I told the people, the girls and guys, and I was, he goes, hey, need anything? It's what you need, man. You a UFC fighter? I said, don't you insult me like that, boy. <laughs> I'm 320 pounds, and the girl in there, she's like, man, you could crush me. I said, no, you can crush me. <laughs> like my testicles. She goes, dude, what do you be talking about? You be talking crazy. I said, let's go outside. So we did it right outside the door, right in the, in the street. And a lot of times, for future reference, when those same scum ask you what you need, you say, oh, I need 20 bucks right now. So I ain't playing around. 20 bucks right now. I'm taking a cut. Tell him that next time. He's got this box. 
Well, they let me off good. They were like, all right, big man, you set for the day, big man? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't need anything. And they, they didn't give me any shit. It's supposed to go out more than this, right? I never done it, I don't know. I'll just do a set of 50. Someone inform Lenny on how to do these. Hip abductions. Yeah, get this muscle big and thick. Yeah, I can feel it's not muscle I really much work before. Huh? I can tell it's not worth the groin. Not without, uh, it's on fire, really. Figure a girl does, she's got my vaginal blood flow. <laughs> it's time to walk up to her. Shout out to Monique Jones, my Instagram jerk material, early morning <laughs> for work. Fit me, Instagram. <laughs> Good jerk material. <laughs> Good jerk material. With your jerk material, Dale, a picture of a moose and an elk. <laughs> <laughs> the National Geographic. <laughs> the new version of the Gun Magazine. <laughs> this is NRA Monthly. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get some leg extensions. Yeah, that's a good thing. You know, I'm coming down there. I met one yesterday. Old man Chuck came down, and brought her. He married her, old man Chuck. Four or five Chuck? Yeah, four or five one inch. Brought her girl down with him. Loaded. Older shit. Loves him to death. And they got married. Where does she look like Dale Chase with a wig on? <laughs> <laughs> so like a girl. <laughs> like a regular old girl. <laughs> Chinny Chin Chase. <laughs> Dale Chance reminds me of that fat biker in the movie Mask for Cher. <laughs> you remember that yeah. fat fuck with the jean jacket with the cut off sleeves? Yeah. That's what Dale would look like. Dale won. Day one, sporting slip. Dale Chance tree in his sleep facilities with everything you need on hand. Well, weight is weight, Dale, and tension is tension. But still, I use that to motivate me, and as well as uh, the Welshman across town in those perfect facilities, which I'm not invited to. Fucking freaks. Buddy. <laughs> Two for seven tits special at Copenhagen. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to save up the coupons on the tins and take them back. <laughs> the tins, Dale. The tins. Show us the collection, Dale. The coupon collection. Tins. Stacks of tins, a chance of stakes. Tin, 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 tin. <laughs> 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 ten, 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 ten chance. <laughs> God won't see me pack the whole ten in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's got three chins. I bet someone using PEDs be that fucking fat. <laughs> he's using PUDs. Get it? <laughs> PU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that chewing tobacco. If you were a dedicated bodybuilder, why would you put that carcinogen in your mouth? You know, your teeth are going to fall out and then. See how easy it is to chew down that chicken and steak. 
you'll be shrinking like a fucking HIV patient simply because you want to fucking stick tobacco in your mouth. Better off sticking it up your ass, Dale. Believe me, trying to talk to that guy that fucking bothers me every time I fucking come in here. I don't want to be normal. Although he is pretty impressive for 63. Yeah. Strong as shit, too. Really? Takes minimal, minimal test. Nice guy, too. For a doctor? I don't know, he's got some, something going on. Don't fuck with me when I'm training. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> you don't see any tobacco in my teeth. Bits of steak. Little pieces of steak in there, Dale. <laughs> Fucking fat little freak. Dale. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Get a picture. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'd like to sink my teeth into that right now. She's got a set stopper on her. I'd suck the shit right out of her ass. <laughs> yeah, right? Do another set? Yeah, I'll do another set. I got you. Or you do caps after this, right? No? Uh, a couple of hamstring movements. All oh, right. You may do an ab movement. Good deal. <laughs> Physically, it looks like, and maybe not so much. Maybe before it's a Blackstone Lab product, but that's what it looks like. Benny, no. Ben still chances before it beat PJ contest. <laughs> it's the privilege and honor finally just You know, I, I was wanting this for years. It was a dream of mine. And thanks for making a reality. I won't disappoint you. Like hell you wouldn't, Bill. You fucking disappointed the shit out of that company. You shit all over that company with your placings. Yeah, PJ doesn't even post them. Take it for Flintstones vitamins when you can sponsor you, Bill. <laughs> One of the judges at his buddy's show, the show Kalora did, yeah. has some kind of business deal with him. There's some kind of heat. Tell me how to know this well. Don't worry, the information will be forwarded to the NPC, not by me, but by a third party. What do you think about the cocky jockey, the bodybuilding phenom who's 168 pounds, who fails protege? The one that won the overall. The same right back? Yeah. I didn't know you were into Asian porn, Dale. <laughs> Asian midget porn. Muscle, muscle wasting porn. <laughs> no, my shit's gonna die. Well, in that case, how about the sarcopenic slant eye? <laughs> and for all you fucking morons, know what I mean? Sarcopenia is the official term for muscle wasting. Oh, I got it. And you don't like what I said? I don't care. And that's not a Freudian slip. Brad will say, it's, that shit sucked. It was boring. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your tattoos are boring, Brad. Your girlfriend's boring, Brad. Maybe I'll get a hand job. You don't even do a meet and greet? Not even a meet and greet? How about a meet and greet and beat and skeet? 
You owe it, Brad. Now you're IOU, so.